okay we are still looking at intersection of surfaces how we can draw the curve or curve or line of interpenetration of two solids that penetrate each other so i've shown you how you can do that of two unequal cylinders how you can draw the curve of interpenetration of two unequal pipes or cylinders now i want to show you how you can draw the curve of the curve or line of inter interpenetration of two equal cylinders so the diameters of the cylinders is 50 millimeters so for vertical cylinder the diameter is 50 millimeters uh, for horizontal or penetrating cylinder is 50 millimeters so the first thing that you need to do here is to draw a horizontal center line so draw a horizontal center line is it so draw a horizontal center line then you draw a vertical center line vertical center line then take your compass and take a measurement of 25 millimeters which is half of 50 millimeters so this is 25 millimeters so you draw a circle as the plan of the vertical cylinder so this is the plan for the vertical cylinder then the plan of the horizontal cylinder or the penetrating cylinder will be gotten as I'm going to show you here all right so let's take the length of the penetrating cylinder as 30 millimeters so from this point here from this point on the circle take a measurement of 30 millimeters so this is 30 millimeters then draw a vertical line here so draw a vertical center line all right then since the two cylinders or the pipes are equal in diameter so with that same 25 that we have used to construct the circle so put it at this point and draw a semicircle like this okay then we are going to divide this semicircle into six equal parts so i'm, I'm going to do that now so divide the semicircle with the radius that we used to construct this semicircle so used to divide into six equal parts so put the pinpoint of the compass here draw an arc here you put it at this point here so you draw arc here and here then put it here so you draw an arc here all right so the next thing that we are going to do is that from this point from this point let's number this first so this is zero and this is zero so this will be one this is two and this is three so this is one and this is also two all right so from point zero so draw a straight line okay then the straight line that we draw the horizontal line that we draw here meet this circle at this point exactly on this middle part of the circle then from here also so you do the same from this zero draw a horizontal line so it meets it at this point at this center line then every other point on the semicircle you draw it with thin continuous line so this is it so when you touch the circle you stop it there then for two draw your horizontal line when you touch the circle stop it there so from this point draw the horizontal line into the circle stop it there and from zero half uh, sorry from one draw the horizontal line meeting the same the circle at this point all right so then for the plan of the penetrating cylinder we have this all 
All right, so the plan of the penetrate cylinder is the whole of this, while that of the vertical cylinder is this circle. Now let's draw the front view. Let's draw the front view. So from move your T square up a bit and draw the horizontal line. Then from this point here, from this point on the plan of the vertical cylinder, so draw a vertical line. Then you move it to this side, also draw a vertical line. Then the height of the vertical cylinder is 70. So let's take it as 70 millimeters. So this is 70 millimeters. So we are going to take it that the central axis of the two cylinders intersect each other at right angle. So I'm going to divide 17 to 2, that's 35. So this will be the point of the central axis of the two cylinder. So Okay, so now, so from this point, so put that 25 millimeters that we used to construct a semicircle, put it at this point here and draw a semicircle like this. So as we, as we divided this semicircle into six, divide this also into six equal parts. Then put it here. All right. So we are going to number this. We are going to change the numbering. So here now we are going to have three at this point. And this is also three at this point. And that is zero. So you have to alternate the numbering. So now, so this is one and this is two. And this is one and this is two. So we have the numbering like that. So then from this point, so draw a thick line, that is the height of the vertical cylinder. Then from this point also, for the front view of the penetrating cylinder, so draw a line from 3D, a horizontal line from 3D. So meeting this part of the vertical cylinder, then you also draw a horizontal line from 3D, meeting this part of the vertical cylinder. So then the next thing that we are going to do so is that so let me take the part of the vertical cylinder. So this is it. And then then so we have this. Okay. Then then also, I will also make this and make it thick as the front view of the penetrate cylinder. So from two here, draw a, or draw a horizontal line and let it go into the cylinder itself. Then into the vertical cylinder. So they draw this also. And from here, draw this. And from two here, also draw the horizontal line. Okay, so this is it. So the next thing is for us to draw the curve of intersection or the curve of interpenetration or it can be line of interpenetration. So depending on the diameters of the two cylinders. So like this one now, so the two cylinders have equal diameters. So we are going to get something different from what we got when we did that of the curve of interpenetration of two equal cylinders or two unequal cylinders. So now, what you need to do now is that this line zero, this line zero, it meets the circle at this point. So we have the same thing up here. So this is zero. This is also zero. So we have the same thing here. Take note of that. So one, meet the circle at this point. We also have one here. It meet the circle at this point. So the same point on the circle. Then two, meet the circle at this point. Likewise, this to meet the circle at this point. Then here we have what here we have three. Meet the circle at this point. So take note of that. So now from we take our 
cell square. So this is 3. So the vertical line has been projected already. So then we move to 2. So we draw a vertical line from this point on this 2. So we draw a vertical line like this. Then on 1. So on this point, draw a vertical line. So if you look at 0, which is this. So a vertical line has already been drawn on the center line. So we don't need to do that again. So the next thing that we need to do is that is locate the point of intersection or the point that will give us the line or the curve of interpenetration of these two pipes. So what we do is this. So for 3, so we are starting from 3. So this for 3, so you come on this horizontal like this, horizontal line like this, then we go up part vertical. So the point of intersection of these three that we have here and these three vertical is this point, the intersect here. And also, we also have the same thing here, the intersect here. So this is it. Then for two, we move to two like this. Then you go up vertical. So point of intersection of this horizontal two and this vertical two is this point, the intersect here. So the same thing applies to what we have here. They also intersect here. All right. So for one, so we go horizontal like this. Then we go up vertical. So this vertical one and this horizontal one, like this, they intersect here. This is it. And also, we also have the same thing here. They intersect here. Then for zero, so if you go up, go like this, horizontal, and you go up vertical, and then you come on this horizontal zero like this, and this vertical zero intersect at this point. This is point of intersection. They intersect here. So now if you look at what we have here, we are going to join this together because this does not form a curve. This form a straight line. It forms a straight line like this. It forms a straight line. So what we do is that, so we join this together. So join this together with a straight line. So this point, so you join them together with a straight line like this. And then we also join this together with a straight line. For two equal cylinders, so this is what we have as the line of interpenetration. This is what we have as the, as the line of interpenetration. Unlike that of two unequal cylinders that we have a curve. So this is what we have as the line of interpenetration of two on equal two equal cylinders. So it's as simple as I've shown it here. So subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification and then you too should practice it. So when you practice, you know it more and better. Thank you for listening. God bless you.